Hello, hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can add animations to your game. So if you don't have Wicked Wins installed in your game already, I have other videos where I show you how to install the mod. But without further ado, let's start. So the easiest way uh, it's going to be for you to go on the Wicked Whims website, you are going to click on download. And then um, here it will give you a few names of creators that have worked with Wicked Whims and that are for sure compatible with the mod. So one of my favorite creator is actually Greynea, but I will also put on the screen the names of other creators that you can check out. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you um, with Greynea. So you click on... I went too quick. So you click on this little love bottle. It will redirect you to uh, Lover's Lab, which is the website where you're going to find all the animations for Wiki Whims. So some of them are not safe for work. So it's just like adult stuff. <laughs> and then the others are animation, like cute animations, just like hugging and stuff like that. So you will have to create an account. And I'm going to show you two different ways how you can find your animations. So what you're gonna do is go here on download and then you're gonna go into Sims 4. There are also animations for the Sims 3, uh, but Sims 4 and then Wicked Whims and animations. And this is also where you're gonna find translations if you wanna have Wicked Whims in a different language. So. Like I said, most of them are like sexy adult stuff. But yeah, this is one way how you can find animations. If you just want to find a particular um, creator, you're just going to type their handle and click on search. And there you go. So just going to click on the first one. So it's the page we were earlier, but I just wanted to show you how you can research different animations. Anyways, so you click on download this file. You need to put it in your mods folder. Right now my mod folder is empty because I've just updated the game. Um, so yeah, for the purpose of this video, I just going to have the this mod. So if you scroll through the description, um, you will have all of the animations listed. And then it will tell you as well uh, the locations where you have those animations. As you can see, there's a lot. <laughs> um, and also what are the requirements for some of the animations to function. So some of them were required to have CC and add-ons. I usually don't download all of that because it's a lot. It's a lot. Honestly, it's a lot. So yeah, once you've completed the download, I'm just going to quickly go into the folder. Okay, it's only one package. That's perfect. So now we're going to go in game. Okay, so once you log in your game, if you've done everything properly while you were installing Wicked Whims, you should get this little pop up. And also with all the animations that you have downloaded. Let me show you real quick. Why is it not moving? Oh, it's the camera. There we go. Okay, so. Let me just show you. So you're going to click. You could also click on the floor, on chairs, whatever. But let me show you on the bed. So you'll have this little Wicked Whims tab. And so if you click on that and you only have settings or settings and this control tab, it means that you don't have animations installed. 
I don't, I'm not sure if when you install Wicked Whims, it comes with animations, but just, just in case, just like go on Lover's Lab and download a bunch of animations. Anyways, so you have this tab and you have a bunch of options. I usually just click on random or I let them do whatever they want. So I'm just going to click on random and gonna let them do their thing so let's go so for the purpose of this video i did download an add-on that masks the animation but um yeah you can kind of see what's going on <laughs> um but yeah if you don't download that you will see literally everything that they're doing and so yeah that's that. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.